Well, good day, tubes. Welcome to your Princess Auto two weeks auto two week auto sale flyer. I messed that up, anyways. Princess Auto two week sale flyer. Um, a little late on this one. I do apologize, it's just because the channel was all messed up there with that hijacker and things got kind of twisted and turned around. And uh, I honestly kind of forgot about the flyer because I was doing precedence on that other things there. So, anyways, better late than never. And uh, here we go. So we're from April twelfth, and this is the eighteenth. So yeah, we're a few days late. To the 24th, almost over, but hey, we got some few days left. Anyways, <clears throat> let's see if there's anything in here that we might need. So I've actually got one of these things here. I don't generally really use it a whole lot, but I do have it. Uh, not like that, though. It's Mine's an orange, different bit bigger. Got mine at TSC, but anyways. 229 for lawn sweeper. That's not too bad. They're all right for small areas. Of course, my big area uh, fills up so fast. You know, if you've got grass clippings, things really, really heavy. And it's kind of hard on it. And, yeah, not the greatest, really. The leaves may be all right, but it would definitely fill up fast with leaves. Um, anyways, trailer tires. We got a pressure washer. Grease, of course, again. Oh, mixer's coming out. That looks so chintzy for $270 on sale. Regularly, 400 bucks for that? Wow. That doesn't look like it would even hold up the weight of the cement in there. <laughs> Never mind trying to dump it and tipping it over. Anyways, gas cans. Wow, they've gone up a lot too. Holy smokes for a gas can. Wow. $22 regular. Oof. That's a big one, a 20 liter, mind you. But a little two-wheel cart, shop tire thingies. So colored fleece shop rags interesting okay then a little bit of advertising more advertising oh ammo boxes sold for $1.95 in 1966 wow five of them for 950 or a hundred of them for 140 bucks <laughs> that's pretty cool wow they still sell them today not quite as awesome looking as that one but they they're pretty neat some of them there's some other old stuff here. What's this? Another source came from decommissioned military aircraft, scrapyard in Canada and U.S. State, United States. Sorry, uh, both blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Merchandise manager at the time understood the value of military and industrial surplus products to the farmers, to the farmers of Western Canada. Hmm. Little air compressor. I think that's a generator. Arc welder. Okay. Arc welders. Wow. Some neat old stuff, eh? That's pretty cool. Must be one of the founders here. I don't know. I never met him. He's probably long gone now, I'm sure. Wow. You can't drill yourself a little hole with a little spade shovely thing and you need one of those. That's crazy. But I guess they work pretty good. Mixing soil and planting flowers. There we go. Some quick couplers. They're always good to have a couple of spares of them because sometimes they start leaking on you. Well, what is that? That's a spray paint gun system. Huh. Cool. Some air tank stuff. That's kind of a neat looking one. About 400 bucks. Holy smokes. 20 gallons. That's fairly big-ish. It's just like, like a 40-pound propane tank, really. Better just to get a pro propane tank and take the, the valve off it, and they're all, they're all pipe threads in the propane tank. So, away you go. Some air tool stuff. A nice hose reel. Oh, they're on sale again. Ooh, I've already got enough, though. I got a couple of these, and I've got, um, you think, now one at the shed, too. So, I mean, that should be good. I got one like this at the shed. No, it's like this. It is like that one, I think. No, I can't remember. <laughs> can't remember now. That's a nice one, too. A nice chunk of hose. That's actually pretty darn cheap if it's decent stuff. It's kind of hard to tell. It looks like the rubber stuff. Hybrid air hose, and eh, maybe. Just don't ever get that PVC stuff. It is just garbage. It's like like plastic, like this. This stuff's not bad, but if you get it in, what's this? That's a rubber one. That'd be a good one. Goodyear makes good stuff. This one here. Do not ever get these ones. Absolute junk, especially when it's cold. They don't. Uh, Kind of roll up too nice, and they're I'm not going to say brittle when they're cold. Maybe really cold, they may get brittle, but they're just like a not good. <laughs> These ones aren't too, too bad, though. Polyurethane's a little different than the PVC stuff, right? So, yeah. Tile saws. Man, we used to rent a lot of these at the rental. 
these and the brick saws for a bit different blade on them for cutting bricks, like interlock bricks. Some electric tool, $70 belt sander. I wonder how that good that is. Looks pretty much like a Makita one. Looks kind of small here on the roller on the front, though. Hmm. Oh, Sawzall. Reciprocating saw, sorry. That's good. Saw blades, too. That's good. Kind of need saw blades, too. Still got the vehicle lifts. Wow, 4,500 bucks, though. So. 10,000 pound. I guess that would lift my truck. I'd still be a little leery of that. It looks small on here, but I think it's fairly big. You got to remember, this is like the little handle here where you're going to put it up. So you got to scale it to that. This is your hand would fit on that, right? So this thing's all fairly big and beefy, really. But yeah. Ooh, they sell motorcycles. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Just lifts. No motorcycles there yet. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> The Power Fist ro Race Rocket, or something we'd call it, eh? Well, there's some jacks and stuff. Floor jacks. I almost could use another floor jack. 219 bucks. Eh. See, I got to do um, tire rotation on my truck. And uh, kind of need a... I guess I got stands. I could jack it up, put it on a stand, jack it up, put it on a stand, and then just jack up the rear, and then I could just change the tires around that way. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to figure something out. That truck's so high in the air, though. It's, it's a long way up. It's a long way for the jack to push that up to get an actual stand under it. Now, there's some cleaning products. Free hose cutting, cleaning, and crimping. That's kind of nice. Ooh, $35 for a 12-pack. That is pretty good 299 per unit yeah there we go i think i've bought it 288 once there before it was pretty good too some oil buy in bulk and save three pack of rochellas or rotella whatever you like to say 10w30 32.99 per unit that's actually pually good for here Actually, I got to need a zero W twenty here sometime soon for her car, my wife's car. Sorry, five twenty is getting close. Could probably run a five twenty in it now. I would say because the engine's probably getting a little bit worn in or worn out, if you will. And I'm sure a five twenty would work fine now. And it it's normally a zero twenty because such tight tight tolerances in that engine. They really want a fine layer of oil everywhere because it's really thin, right? But I think now with a hundred and 68,000 kilometers. We could probably run a 520, a little bit thicker stuff. But anyways, that's uh, 25 bucks per unit if you buy three of them, I guess, for 75 bucks. The heck is that? Sanding sponges. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Some batteries. I don't know about buying batteries there. I mean, the Pro Point stuff isn't too bad. I don't think there's a lot of manufacturers of batteries now and a lot of them aren't very good garbage 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 stuff these might be not too bad either i don't, I don't really know but so you see these on the shelves there and you see them sitting there and sitting there and sitting there and the date codes are like a year and a bit old it's like that's been sitting there not charged i doubt they'd go and trickle charge them you know or they should keep a trickle charge system going there just to keep them charged right so i don't know but anyways, what do we got here? Power inverter, 1,200 watt. Nice. Battery master switch, 12 and 24 volt. And that's a good idea, too. Fender roller tool. Huh. Interesting. Ball joint separator. Scanner. OBD2 scanner. Oh, look at this. Wow. It spans quickly, fills gaps, penetrates, dries in less than one minute, seals out moisture, dust, and pests. It actually, that stuff does work good. I wonder, though, how good it is. It doesn't say if it's an open cell or a closed cell. You want closed cell stuff. It's way better. Way, way better. Uh, it doesn't say, though, but 400 bucks, and that's like, well, I've had one of these kits from uh, Home Depot, and it didn't do too bad. 200 board foot where I think it's the ones that are the size of the big 20 pound propane tanks I think it was a 600 board foot and it 
pretty much did my whole shed light layer. I do need to get some more, but oh, it is so expensive now at the depot. <laughs> oh, this is actually pretty good, man. Yeah, I don't know. I think I got maybe enough in there for now, anyways. Drain drain container. How much does that hold? 18 liters. That'd be good for the truck. I think it's 12 and a half ish kind of liters, 13 liters or something. So I should probably get one of them. Be a little bit cleaner taking it out than all these stupid pails all the time. Should maybe should maybe go look at one of them. I might uh, just take a picture of that. Maybe I'll pop down and grab one. Be a lot cleaner doing it like that. <clears throat> that's a lot of big drain plug in that thing. That's a lot of oil coming out fast in that thing, so that might be all right. Uh, undercoating stuff. Some hand cleaner. Some more good stuff here. Silicone stuff. More grease. Liquid wrench. Solvent. Wow, that stuff's pretty expensive, too. That's for your uh, parts cleaner, parts washers. 20 liters, 20, I think that says 20, yeah, probably 20. Some of that stuff really stinky, though. And that stuff's flammable, too. Some of the stuff isn't flammable, that stuff is. Ooh. Paint thinner, that's what I use. It actually works pretty good, too, but it's uh, kind of kind of flammable, too. So we got some fans. This season's coming up for new fans, I guess. So if you need a fan, there you go. Pressure tanks. Garden hose season coming up too. Oh boy, here we go again, eh? Everything's starting to grow here a little bit, so that's good. I don't even know it's really cold outside today, but spring's eventually coming. We've got some camping uh, cast iron supplies. That's kind of cool. Cookware set. Nice. ATV spreader. Sunscreen. Screened house thingy. Landscape fabric. Oh boy. This is a pretty big flyer today. We're only up to here. We've still got to get all the way down here. Nice flare kit. Doing your flaring and cutting and stuff. It's all in one there. It's kind of nice. It even comes with a wrench to tighten everything down. Wow. Super great. Hex key sets. Punch sets. Uh, I'm not going to read everything off here. You're going to have a look as we're zipping through. Actually, the one of these I had to use the other day. Kind of glad I had it. There's a carpet kicker. Knee killer. Hip killer, we'll say too, maybe. Stubby combination wrench set. Bunch of small hand tools and stuff here. Some massive extensions. Some nice pliers. Channel lock stuff. They're pretty good. Decent, decent, decent tools there. Sometimes they were quite expensive, but they've actually sort of come down in price now. They're probably, well, it says made in USA, but okay. <laughs> Maybe it is still, I don't know. Probably metal sourced from China, though. <laughs> all our scrap metal seems to end up in China. I don't know why they want it all, but anyways. I've got some of these. I think i got one of these, and it's been fine. And I think i got one of these, too, actually. It's been pretty good. Magnetic rail, a bunch of locks. Master. There's some casters you can put on underneath your little cart thing if you needed some. Oh, beekeeping stuff again. Yeah, that's that's neat that they got into that. I'd love to get into bees, but I just don't like getting stung by them if they happen to not like you so much. You don't treat them right, they'll uh, sting you. Dry powdered bee feed. Oh boy. Got everything here. They got all the suits and everything. Really should take a class, you know, to figure out and get trained on, you know, doing this stuff and feeling feeling confident around the bees and stuff. That's probably where I'd have the problem. It's like I don't like insects really at all, especially landing on me and bite me, especially bees. I mean our uh, columbarium niches back here, which are those above ground things that uh, have the little square doors on it. That you put the urn in behind and you scrab on the door. We had a new set back here and uh, wasn't quite ready to be sold yet. And then we uh, went back to uh, look at one one day and uh, boy, there was a little gap between the door and the top of the frame of this little the, the square box. And man, there was a some really aggressive something wasp or hornet or something in there. And he 
I was standing in front of he saw me. He just came straight out of that thing. Boom. Nailed me right on the cheek and freaking stung me. Oh, man. I just do not like them. So that night I went and got some spray and, uh, yeah, stung him back, we'll say. <laughs> Anyways, they got to do that kind of stuff to kill those things off when uh, it's nighttime when they're all in there, right? Otherwise, they're coming out. And best to get them at nighttime because they know it's time for bed and they're not out uh, doing their stuff. But anyway, sorry. It's a little story for you. Some uh, steel cables. I love these little kit things. Lock washer kit, cap screw kit, clevis pins. I got. I don't think I have this one, but I've got. Uh, I've got one of these snap rings. Uh, I don't think I have one of those. I have one of those uh, lock washers. I've got a couple of them. They have all kinds of different stuff too. Little little uh, set screws and everything. Some pails or buckets, if you will. So fuel stuff there. Nice big fuel cell there or transfer tank. Marine style gas tank. Gas can. 50 bucks. Sprayers. That's good. Spot sprayers. Scaffolding again. Some of the stuff they keep having sale to sale to sale, it seems. I don't know why, but toolboxes is pretty good for the whole thing, I guess. Some shelving units. Plastic shelving units. Oh, boy. Oh, there's some of the uh, little pelican cases kind of thing. They're pretty good. Nice watertight stuff. It's like the uh, futuristic version of the ammo, ammo container cans, I guess. So, hey, that's actually pretty good there. Hmm. Some protective gear and some rain suits. Nice. Breathing apparatuses and hearing apparatuses. Some gloving stuff. Wheel chocks. Let's be into the trailer stuff now. There's trailer jacks. Some axles and springs and stuff. Of course, some lights and stuff. Bearings. Boat stuff. Rollers and stuff for your boat. Oh, there's one of those things you fill it with air and you uh, set it be with it. Psh, open it up real quick and, yeah, works pretty good. More little tires, wheelbarrow tires, trailer tires. Oh, really? 20 by 8 by 10. Uh, 4 and 4, 5, yeah. No, that's what I paid, 119 bucks. but they are on sale for 99 I got to get one of these from a Mini X trailer. I don't know why, somehow on the inside, trailer side, it got a little wee, a little wee, uh, I, I don't really want to say cut, I want to say scratch, because it's it was leaking from it, though. I'm like, wow, how would that seriously have cut through the rubber and the belting and all that stuff in there, and it started to leak? So, I mean, I got a bad tire on it, but I got a good rim. I could salvage the rim off it. I could get the stupid tire off. They're a pretty small tire, but anyways, I had to go buy another one and put a new one on because I was sick and tired of it. Filling it up every couple of months. You had to fill it up again, right? So anyways, in the odd time, you'd fill it up and the next day it was like right flat to the ground. I'm like, oh man, really? So fill it up again. So I, I just went and bought a new one, but I paid the 119 bucks, but I didn't think it was too bad. Interesting how Four on a four inch load capacity is eleven oh five, but then a five bolt on a four and a half is less. I think they might have those reversed. I don't know. Weird. Uh, what else we got here? Trailer balls and then receivers. It's a little crane thingy. It's kind of cool. Trailer hitch stuff. Trailer lock stuff. Oh, I should probably get another set of them. Oh, wireless trailer backup camera. Hey, now, I kind of like that idea. I guess it's powered. Probably grounded here somewhere, I would imagine. But there should be a... It doesn't really give you any more pictures, but there should be a little uh, monitor thing that this maybe runs the wire to. Somehow you got to power that, I guess, too. Even, no, it says wireless. Sorry, okay, so you wouldn't need that. My bad, yeah, so this would just power the camera and then it wirelessly goes probably back to uh, 
the little monitor thing. Hmm. I would guess, anyways, I don't know if it's going to bring up uh, much more here, but specifications. Installation, 10 to 15 minutes. Hard mount or existing trailer light. Black, I don't mean, uh, ABS material. Huh. Well, that might be all right, an idea. Probably just use it on a car, or two. It's kind of big, but. Now, what do we got here? RV water water heater drain plug kit. Okay. I've got one of those, uh, what do you call it, uh, water on demand things in ours. It's pretty good as long as you remember to turn the switch on and you're, yeah. Why isn't it working? Holy cow, I got everything turned on. No, you don't. There's another switch. You missed it. Every year I go through that same thing. I really got to make a sticker. Turn this switch on for hot water. But anyways, there's some more RV stuff. Water pressure regulators. Good idea because you never know. You don't want to blow your lines off in your trailer or something, right? Oh, wow. They're actually selling vent lids there now. Really? Finally. 35 bucks. Oh, wow. And they only last like a year. Last time I, well, I bought a couple to replace mine. They lasted like a year. Not from here. From the, actually the RV place up from us here. They lasted for like a year. Yeah, that looks like the same one. You bend these little tabs over so it doesn't slide out. Um, lasted for like a year. I'm like, I was walking by the trailer and I'm like, what the heck's all this plastic all over again? I look up, the, the vent lid is totally blown right off the thing. And it's just so incredibly sun rotted in like one year. It was just garbage stuff. I don't know why they wouldn't make these better. UV stabilized. Yeah, not likely. So I got another two of them. Did them both. And I sprayed them with like a plastic coating rubberized stuff and i haven't looked at them yet this year mind you but hopefully they're last a little longer but it's good to know they got them there and uh that's actually a good idea right there because normally you're putting your line straight you know and then it's bending down that's actually a really good idea hmm nice hose saver yeah prevents kinks that's a good idea I've got some covers for your car, some lights and stuff. That's all right. Cargo, roof-mounted cargo carrier. Well, that's kind of cool. Aluminum ramp roll-up. Huh. Wow. Clever. Some mesh stuff. Ooh, mesh stuff. Well, there we go. We got a backup camera. That seems... Dash cam. Sorry, not a backup camera. Uh, that's... It's kind of expensive for that, but maybe it's a decent out uh, resolution of it too. So, CB radios even. Wow, those are maybe get you just around town. You'd have to have a better radio than that. I think if you're driving truck, but anyways, mini CB radio. There you go. Some more radios. Some chalk things here. That's good. And go into that e-track stuff. Prune and saws. Cement mixer gas engine conversion kit. Converts an electric mixer to a gas-powered unit. Fan, cool. Pull start. Engine speed, 3,600. Well, oh, that's kind of neat. Pro point engine. I'd like to get one of them sometime and do a tear down on it and see what they're constructed like. 400 bucks, maybe. Chainsaw chains, that's good. They got lots of them now. Some hydraulic stuff here. Cooler, that's good. Some reservoir tanks. Pressure washers. I bet you they'll have that big uh, heated pressure washer here. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, man. They're so wanting to sell these to people. I don't know. I've never heard if they're good or bad or anything. Never tried one. They're always on sale, though. I don't know why they don't, don't offer it at this price. And then... Put it on a sale price, you know, for like twenty five hundred or something. Like they'd lose a bit of money, I guess. But you know, they don't. Uh, they're always on here. I don't know if they don't sell too many of them or what. They probably got a whole bunch in store somewhere. They want to really get get them pushed out, right? But offer them a better sale price, and they'll probably go like crazy. You know, people gotta people gotta feel like they're getting a good deal, or you know, not getting ripped off. I think that's a bit too high for that. Maybe. Heated pressure washer, but eh, who knows? That's kind of cool. 
extender right up to the top of your house. Some cleaning supplies for your pressure washing needs. Wet jet surface cleaner. Cool. Some nozzles and soaping nozzles. Oh, there's a big gen. 15,000 watt. Woo, boy. One, two, three, four, one tens, and then a 50 amp, I think that is, and then the twist plug there. 30 amp twist. I think that's what those are. That's pretty good. Well, there's one for your gen, uh, for your camper. A remote control. Oh, my goodness. Well, I guess that's a good idea if you got it out here and you're inside. I don't really want to go out. It's cold. And I got no clothes on or whatever. And then you boom, fire up, make your toast. Guess that makes sense. Of course, that remote only probably works about 10 feet away. <laughs> Who knows? Hi, Hyundai. It's a pretty good name. Well, that's kind of cool. They're even selling uh, transfer switch kits. Huh. Wow. 10 circuit, 6 circuit. Oh, that's... Pretty neat. That's your generator where you plug your gen in. Oh, here you go. That's good. Bunch of other electrical stuff here. Wow, they're getting into a bit of the stuff now. That's good. Nothing wrong with that. See, so yeah, there's 50 amp there. It's straight, 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 where the other ones hurt. Like twisty like that, right? And, of course, some hydraulic stuff. What page are we on? 60. Wow, we must be almost done here. I would probably never buy one of these. I looked at these, and these tires look like plastic, like that hard, plasticky kind of weird stuff. That's garbage, you know, like, ugh, for 50 bucks now. Put another 100 bucks, 200 bucks even maybe into it and get yourself something really decent, you know, like a hobby grade, we used to call it. Hydraulics and stuff. Well, that's kind of cool. The one with a vent on it. 140 amp. Welder, wow. It's all right. Welding blanket. Argon regulator, CO2 regulator. Big Tiger Torch and the welding cover mat thing. I think that's supposed to convert the light so it doesn't burn your retinas out too, right? Welding cable. That's good if they got the big stuff there. Now, I was getting it from a welding guy in town. He kind of sold. I didn't. Particularly really like the new guy that uh, bought the place from him. So if they have the 11-pound, uh, that might be the ones I used to get from him. I can't remember now. I thought they were maybe heavier than that, but that's a fair bit of wire on there. And what do we got here? Pipe bending machine. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. Disc sander. Some presses and little drill presses. Nice. Some surplus. Oh, boy. Air conditioners, 12,000 BTU. That'd be pretty good for a smaller place. It's going to be that season again. Fire up the air conditioners. Pay the electric on that. <laughs> Some wiring stuff. Oh, Canada flag made in China. That really annoys me. You know, there's a couple places around us here that do make flags, but not very much. It's like you can't even make our own flag in our own country. Like, come on. Guaranteed that would be made in China. Probably not going to tell me that here. Specifications, yeah, it's not going to tell me that. But guaranteed when you get the package made in China. That just really aggravates me. Oh, there's some LED lights. That's kind of cool. Rechargeable mini wireless keyboard. Dental pictures, more LEDs. Oh, USB LEDs. Oh, that's cool. Some oil for your small engine. A whole bunch of little connector guys. Wireless headphones. That's kind of cool. Little um, webcam with microphone. Okay. Little adapter for your micro SD cards. Little charger things. One of these weird socket things that fits any. Size nut. I guess they work. I don't know. Umbrella. Rubber air hose. 25 foot. 11.99. That's probably not too bad. That's kind of a neat little hitch. It's like solid. And poultry netting. Wow, that's pretty good. It's only uh, 1 by 150 feet. So what, it's like 1 foot tall. I guess. 
my one inch little mesh things. Right on, mouse traps, some clothing stuff, and I think that might be the end of our flyer. Looks to be. Wow, that was a pretty good flyer today. There's a lot of pages in there. What are we up to? 71. Wow, they're almost 100 pages. <laughs> but anyway, sorry for it being late for your uh, two-week sale flyer, but uh, we're sort of back on track here now with everything. That was a big struggle for me, getting all the channel back and reestablished, but anything, everything's good now. So April 12th to the 24th of 2022. Well, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later. The only thing I kind of really saw was... Um, Took a picture of it, that uh, drain pan. Might uh, maybe pop down and grab one of them. Leak proof extended design. Prevent spills and messes. $22.99. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later. And you guys have a good day. Happy shopping.